Jewish families surrounded by German soldiers as they're led to the Treblinka death camp. Behind them, the Warsaw Ghetto in flames. 33 pictures in all, recently found in an attic by the son of the photographer. He was a Polish firefighter called to put out blazes set by the Nazis as they put down the Warsaw Ghetto uprising. My father was present in the last moments of the uprising when those who had been hiding for weeks came out of their hiding places. They were pale, blinded by the light. My father said they looked almost like animals, that it was frightening and that they were taken by the Germans either to be shot or to be deported to camps where they would also die. That fate awaited nearly all Jews held in the Nazis' largest ghetto, set up one year after the 1939 invasion of Poland. In April 1943, several hundred Jewish militants rose up, preferring to die fighting than in the camp's gas chambers. A valiant act of courage finally seen through a lens that didn't belong to the fascists. These are the only photos whose author is not German and which were not taken for propaganda purposes. It has immense significance through whose eyes we see what is happening in the ghetto and the Holocaust. Twelve pictures from the roll were already known, but only via prints on low-quality paper. The full set will be on display at Warsaw's Museum of the History of Polish Jews starting in April.